from LA Late News headquarters in Santa Monica. This is Mornings, LA Late. It's a big early morning on LA with incredible great details about your fourth single check update of 2021. In this recording, we'll go over that monthly stimulus check and why the Democrats are likely to give you more months of checks. Then we cut to the recon. Done. Deal. Passed. $3.5 trillion of checks are coming to the American people. The fourth stimulus recon procedural has passed the U.S. Senate. Next stop, the House. And breaking news this morning is you see new dates are actually a little bit a little earlier. We'll go over these new dates and why they're great news. And then in the third part of this video, we'll be going to Nancy Pelosi's comments, brand new as well, signaling that the recon is protected and that the recon will likely get done sooner and faster than we initially thought. Then we cut to the big money as fist stimulus heats up in just a few days as we go into the fist stimulus draft. This is for your SSI, SSDI, and VA benefits being lifted. Then, George getting $8,000 for rent overnight. A California resident's congratulations to him. And Mark getting $50,000 from this channel. I'll show you how to get this big money as well because the toast is toasting, the butter is buttering, and the cough is brewing. It's a beautiful early morning, and it starts right now. Hope you're having a beautiful morning. It got warmer yesterday. Ah, oh, got warmer. Hopefully, it cools down today because it was a little bit too muggy in Los Angeles. In fact, the UV index was at very, very high levels. So, jump in the live chat. Tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather where you are. In this early morning's broadcast, we'll be going over the incredible great news about that force stimulus check and why the Democrats are likely to give you more months of checks. Then we got to the recon. Done deal. And the great news is that the recon is progressing over to the House, but a little bit earlier than initially thought and a little bit easier than initially thought. Then we'll be going over the recon substantive, the new comments for Nancy Pelosi, which are absolutely wonderful, and also what you need to know about what's happening this weekend. There's going to be a lot of breaking details all weekend long, so stay with me. Then we got to Fist Stimulus, which is just a, days, a few days away from starting a draft, and then we go into the big money that viewers continue to get as, <laughs> as the great viewer from California got over $8,000 for rent overnight. Congratulations to him. And then and Mark, who got over $50,000, I'll show you how to get this big money in well. And this is Ally, America's only 24-hour day, seven days a week financial news channel in America. Live in the morning and then taped in the afternoons. Coming up next is Overnight Scripto. Stay on this video and it'll automatically take you there. Then I'm back with you at 9 a.m. with Mornings LA with breaking news always. Then noontime at 11 a.m. with new breaking news as well and subscribe. 400,000 subscribers are YouTube record. I want you part of this family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member. Let's cut right into that monthly stimulus check. House versus Senate, Senate versus House. Let's go over everything you need to know. First, they both pay monthly stimulus checks, but they pay different number of checks and for different amounts. House, pandemic plus one year. Senate, July to December. Let's go over the payouts. The House is $1,000 after the first month. And then the Senate monthly unknown, but we're on the streets. The Senate would pay you this deliciousness. <laughs> $2,000 over six months, $12,000. Or $1,400 over six months, $8,400. When you look at the House bill, you have to think about what happened late yesterday. FDA announced that it's about to approve the booster shot for the vaccine. And that signals that the CDC could do it within just days, approving it for people first with low immune responses. This is huge as Southwest Airlines announces a fall warning for earnings because they say cancellations are already growing among people worried about Delta and that new bookings are down for later this year. So the House bill would likely pay the remainder of pandemic plus one year, which would be more than 12 checks, which would be more than 12, one year and would, would amount to more than $13,000. Compare that to this and the Senate. <laughs> I think you have an opinion. I think you have an opinion. Vote right now, House of Senate, House of Senate, and tell me where you're tuning in from. 
and how's the weather? Who gets this for us? check. Democrats represent that. If you got third, you get a fourth. A single individual, 75,000 less. Democrats represent, you get a fourth stimulus check. Married couple, 150,000 less. Democrats represent, you get a fourth stimulus check. Double it. Family of four, Democrats represent, you get a fourth stimulus check. Quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, VA benefits, Democrats represent, you get a fourth stimulus check. The fourth stimulus check is not income. It's not taxable. It's not uh, a check that went different amounts for different people. It'd be the same amount for everyone. And the fourth stimulus check is not a waivable check. <laughs> I learned that, unfortunately, um, when I was at the disco last night. I saw the check on the dance floor doing a very bad dance move. I said, check, what are you doing? Are you waving at me? I know you're not a waivable check. What is this thing you're doing? Is that the pair dance? Hey, check, how you doing? What's that dance move? Oh, he just fell and broke his leg doing the break dance. So there you go. Not a waveable check and a very dangerous check. <sighs> Should have just landed on my bank account. <laughs> and there you go. The four stimulus check is not a waveable check, but in the second half of this video, we go over the incredible great news about the $3.5 trillion of checks that come into you under four stimulus recon. Done. Deal. The house is net set, net set to take the vote on the four stimulus recon. As it passes with flying colors and the, the house will do it even easier. The Senate passed it with flying colors without even a blink of an eye, and the House will do it even easier. I'll explain to you why in the breaking news happening this early morning's broadcast. Then we cut to Nancy Pelosi's comments, and they're incredible great news. They give us indications about the path, the dates, everything you have been asking, she explains to us. Then we turn to Fist Stimulus, which heats up in later part of this video, and that is real incredible great news because that is just days from now. It's the raise of, rise of your benefits up if you're on SSI and SSDI and VA benefits. But first, let's get some money. Get a pen and paper ready because I want to get you this big sum of money. We talk on this channel about money, and I had been recording that for rent, I can get you about $5,000 of rent, about four to six months of rent. Well, you disproved me because you got enormous sums of money, and I'm so excited to show the viewers of the ship your success stories. Here we go. You ready? Bam. Elizabeth gained $27,000 for rent. Mark gained $25,000 for rent. Nancy, $24,000 for rent. Richard, $22,000 for rent. And Nisi. $20,000 for rent. Thank you, George, for sending me that nice comment on Facebook. He got $8,000 for rent. He's in California. Sent me the message overnight. Other people, uh, if you have not sent me your messages on, private, on social media, private messages, send them to me as well. I'll feature you on camera. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, send me a DM. Pamela tells me she got $12,000 for rent. Carla got multiple items. Tiffany got multiple items, including $13,000 for rent. Randy got multiple items, including $6,000 for rent. And Jennifer got $5,000 of rent, plus some snap and lights. And Cecilia got some money for heat. When we talk about utilities, we're talking about water, gas, and oil, and things like that. I said I could get you $300. Well, guess what? Bam. Oh, my goodness. Nancy got $7,000. Incredible great news. Mark got $6,500, and Angela got $5,000. These, my friends, are all Purple Hawk members. They understand the value of being a member, watching this channel, sharing the videos with other people. Mark shared the videos with his neighbors. They're getting upwards of $20,000 of rent, he tells me. And then when we talk about Snap, I said 46 months of Snap. I said about $46,000 for Snap annualized. Are you ready for the annualized numbers? Here we go. Bam. Wow, Louie. Incredible. Louie got $18,000 Snap annualized. John got $10,000 Snap annualized. Nancy, $5,000. Dollars. Finally, for people who got multiple sums of money, are you ready for this deliciousness? Oh my goodness. Here we go. Can I hear a drum roll? Bam. Congratulations, Nancy getting $32,000 for rent, utilities, and SNAP. Nisi getting $23,000 for rent, utilities, and SNAP. And Mark getting $32,000 for two items. I'm so excited for you. But then there was Mark who, um, with those two items, I met a week of recordings. And I addressed Mark and camera. I said, over that week, I said, Mark, you got two items. Why didn't you get the snap? It's so easy. Get some snap. And, you know, at the time I said, maybe he'll get $8,000 of snap, which would bring him to 40000 But I thought maybe he'll just get four or $5,000 for snap. How much do you think he got? He has already $32,000 for the other items. So Mark did get some snap. He got it within just days of me starting to make the recordings. And guess how much he got? Nineteen thousand dollars for snap bringing his grand total to fifty thousand dollars and that is incredible and congratulations to all of you whether it's a dollar or ten thousand dollars and this 
is Ally. This is what we've been doing since day one, and we continue to do it every single day of this channel. I launched this channel in spring of last year because people's EIDL loans and grants were not coming. And so on camera, I answered their questions. I got them approved. Off camera, I looked at their applications and figured out why they were stalled up, and I got them approved with the volunteers, getting them over $150,000 for individual applications, sometimes 10 a day approved. $25 million of EIDL loans approved because of this channel, saving their businesses, their homes, and their employees' homes. But then, in fall of 2020, we had the issue of second stimulus check was not coming. So that $600 check was not coming. I stepped forward and got viewers $250,000, paid their rent for months, like Tyrone and his family four out of Boston, paid their rent for, 15, for six months, $15,000 family four out of Boston. And now we're doing again. The only difference is you and your numbers. You're doing a better job than I've ever seen in the history of this channel as Purple Hawks. And I think you're doing upwards of $250,000 a week. Get that pen and paper ready because if you're new to this channel, welcome. If you're a recurring viewer and you've not gotten this money, today's your day. And finally, if you got one sum of money, I want you to get to multiple sums of money today. Are you ready? Here we go. A couple things to introductory remarks. First, we're going to reach out to different places with different eligibility. So if one says no, reach out to the next. They have different eligibility. Number two, keep on pushing because don't reach out to one just stop. Keep on pushing. I'm going to show you six places to reach out to. Number three. Um, always remember that every state pays. There's not a single state that's not paid. Number four, each place has their own pot of money. So if one says no, reach out to the next. Finally, listen to the keywords I'm about to say because those keywords help people get approved. Are you ready? You're going to reach out to your city hall, your city housing authority. Your county hall, your county housing authority. Your state hall, your state housing authority. And the keywords you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID or mortgage or utility assistance because of COVID. And that's all you say. You don't say words they don't know, like stimulus or Chuck Schumer's July 4th deadline. <sighs> you don't know that. I don't think he knows that. And there you go. Congratulations to everyone who got this wonderful pot of money, including Tim and Lynn. If you got rent and utilities, post the live chat right now. Let's now turn to some snap. Louis got $18,000. Mark got $19,000 for snap. John, ten to $12,000. Lynn Glenn got it for self, her son, and her mom, and Gail got it as well. What is snap? It's money for food. How do you get it? Department of Agriculture. What's the eligibility? Easy. It's easier than a stimulus check. Why would you not get it? Family four out of Hawaii gets upwards of $16,000 a year. Whoa, why so much money? Because of two wonderful executive orders, one from Biden, one from Trump, that raise your benefits up 15% between now and December. So go get it. And if you got Snap, post in the live chat right now. And boy, we're killing it. You're killing it. We've gotten $27,000 for rent, $19,000 for Snap. Eight nine thousand dollars for utilities, and we're just getting started. We're only at the twelve minute mark. The next pile of money that's coming back to you is from the states and the overpayment due to computer error of unemployment benefits. Where's the landing direct deposit? Can you track it? Yeah, contact your state. Say hi, state. Where is that check due to overpayment of unemployment benefits? And can you track it with a computer that's actually turned on? It just sort of helps. And finally, the refund check coming back from IRS. Margaret got a card. Got it. Michael got it. It's deliciousness. The average refund check is about $1,200. And guess what, Mitch? It's a waivable check. Don't send the lobsters after me. I know you hate that. You hate waivable checks, Mitch. <laughs> There's a new check coming every week by direct deposit and also in the mail. More about that in a second. But first, here's a personal message. If you're in the live chat and you've not posted success stories for rent, utilities, and food, please do because three magical things happen when you do. This channel is all about me helping you and you helping others. I want to personally thank people going into go, people yesterday on the one o'clock afternoons in LA. I saw your comments, they were incredible. Some people were having problems getting certain items like rent and utilities, and other people were just stepping forward saying, Let me help get it for you. Someone said, I'm having problems in my city. Someone said, Where are you located? Let me go help find you. I love that. That is the true spirit of the purple power. So let's go over what it's, why it's important to post your success stories in the live chat. First, you inspire other people to get the sums of money. People don't know that there's money available for your rent or there's money payable for your utilities. Second, people don't know that there's even the thing that's called SNAP. Louis Maui uh, um, never heard of SNAP until he tuned into this channel. And suddenly you inspire, Larry Maui, you inspire people to go get sums of money that they never knew existed. 
Then you reveal to people the importance of getting three sums of money. Art Sullivan got three items. Nisi got three items. But others hadn't. And then you inspire people to get three items, like Nancy. Mark got two items, and then he was inspired to get a third. And finally, you update us about the numbers. All right, let's cut back to those unemployment benefits starting right now. How much, how much is that refund check going to be? Well, let's go over the details. Let's say you had $9,000 of unemployment benefits. You pay $5,000 of taxes, of which $4,000 was your taxes on unemployment benefits. You're getting back $4,000. Where? Direct deposit, otherwise in the mail. Can you track it? Yeah. About 75% of the 70% of the time you can. Go to irish.gov and do a transcript search. And it'll reveal the taxes you paid and the tax return you filed. And it'll also reveal stuff you just wish you never saw. Like, um, does Kristen Sinema, um have Ch Mitch McConnell on her Christmas card list? <laughs> and can we top that? Yes, it'll also reveal the refund checking game back from IRS 70% of the time. We can. As we go into the second part of your Force Stimulus Check Update 2021, starting right now. Deal done. The Force Stimulus Recon procedure has passed the U.S. Senate. This is great news because it's enormous. Stimulus packages one, two, and three were about this big. This one is about this big. And while the prior stimulus packages were about this big, 98%, 75 percent of them were consumed for business loans, leaving you very little about our money. In fact, it was leaving you about this amount of money. This for stimulus is all money for you. That's why it's called a progressive spending plan. They're spending fortunes of checks on you. We've never seen anything like this in the history of this channel. So lots and lots of checks, certainly enough room to get a stimulus check in there. Let's go over all the details of how they got this passed. They originally had the roads and bridges in the recon, took it out, making the recon and the bipartisan both passable. Conservative publication confirms my reporting. The higher the price tag was on the recon, the harder it was to pass. By allowing Democrats to take out some of the spending from the bipartisan, from the recon, put in the bipartisan roads and bridges, the overall price tag of the recon got smaller. In other words, the bipartisan deal made the recon passable. In fact, they're now both passed on the U.S. Senate side. So what happened next? Here's something new you're hearing for the first time on early mornings in L.A. is that the price tag of $3.5 trillion was agreed upon by not just senators, but also House Democrats. They had me meeting with the White House to ensure they got a big enough number, and that's why a lot of the people you see me report about are House members. They were part of the discussion, so it's not like they're being blindsided. The progressives were meeting with the White House daily to ensure that the recon was big enough. They got it, $3.5 trillion. And Representative Richie Torres when we said we need to have a larger recon. You got it, $3.5 trillion. Congratulations, Richie. And Elon Omar says we have to have a recon that goes as far as we want it. You got it, Elon, $3.5 trillion. The progressives were told to protect the recon because everything in there is checks for us. And that's what Senator Brian Schantz said and Jalapal, that the White House considers the progressive priorities in the recon their own. So what is a recon? What is a bipartisan? What is the difference between recon procedural and what's the difference between that and recon substantive? Yesterday on Noontime Ally, there was some person that jumped on the live chat and said, I just looked at the infrastructure bill and I didn't see stimulus checks in there. That is why this channel exists, because people are still being confused by broadcast media. Infrastructure is roads and bridges, has nothing to do with us. Our money is the recon, not the infrastructure. So let's go over this again. Here we go. So recon is our money. Bipartisan is not our money. The recon is also called reconciliation, also called the budget bill. Price tag, $3.5 trillion. The bipartisan is the roads and bridges, not our money, also called infrastructure. Price tag, $1.5 trillion. People quote an article about the bipartisan, like a Mitt Romney, Chris and Sinema. We actually have three bills we have to deal with. Recon procedural, recon substantive, and the bipartisan. Okay, what's the difference between recon procedural and recon substantive? Let's go over that for the first time on early mornings in LA. So recon procedural is what's just passed the U.S. Senate. They're basically asked two very, very basic questions. One, do you agree to do a recon at a later date of a price tag of $3.5 trillion? Yes. And do you agree to send the money to committees in the U.S. government at these amounts, $10 to this committee and $20 to that committee of the $3.5 trillion? Yes, that's all it says. It doesn't say how the committees are to spend the money. It just says the committees will get the sum of money and they'll decide about how to spend it at a later date. It's called non-binding, meaning they're just sending the money to the committees. They're not deciding how the committees can will spend the money. That's recon procedural. Price tag and money to committees, done. Nothing else. So then recon substantive comes right after recon procedural is passed in both the House and Senate. It's currently only passed in the Senate. And what is recon substantive? Okay, once those 
committees have $10, $20. Then those committees decide how to spend the money. Who do they give the money to? When, where, why, and how? That is what Recon Substantive is about. All right, let's go over how they write Recon Substantive. So Recon Substantive is written by subcommittees of the House. And those subcommittees are delegated different subject matters under the Constitution. For example, House Ways and Means subcommittee is responsible for writing about similar checks and unemployment benefits. Once those subcommittees are done writing, the Recon Substantive, they send those pages up to Chuck Schumer. He combines those pages. Let's say it's 10 subcommittees with 10 pages. That's 100 pages. He puts a big ass on it for so slow. <laughs> <laughs> for Schumer. For Laverne and Shirley. No, for Senate. But later in this video, you'll see that maybe it's going to start on the House side instead with an H. Fascinating. That's coming up in just a little bit. How do we get to the spot? We got to the spot from Jalapal, who recently wrote Schumer letter saying Chuck called the vote on the recon. Well, he did, and the recon procedure has passed the U.S. Senate. The letter was signed by 12 House Democrats, part of the 100 plus, who recently wrote the president letter saying we're going to be putting monthly four stimulus checks in the four stimulus package. Purple power, you got to keep these people their promise. They're writing now. Now is when they're writing. You got to push and ensure these people keep their promises. Can we top that? Yes. As seven members of the House Ways and Means Subcommittee, oh, the one we were just talking about? Yep, that one, recently wrote the President letter saying, when we write for Simulus Recon, we're going to be putting monthly fourth Simulus checks in there. Well, they're writing it right now, Purple Power, so you got to make sure these people keep their promises. And can we top that? We can, as Biden did it. Seven weeks ago, he went overseas to have a ceremonial signature. The real signature just days ago. It's for something that is so boring and complicated, it needs to be away from us. <laughs> And the great news is it is, because it has nothing to do, it is no longer going in the recon, making it, number one, easier to write the recon, because this global minimum corporate tax rate boringness is not in there. <laughs> Makes it easier to write vote on the recon, because this boring thing is not in there. Makes it easier to vote on the recon, and makes it easier to pass the recon, because this boring, confusing thing is not in there. And can we top that? Yes. As we go into the final 15 minutes of this video, a lot of breaking news at, on early mornings today. Nancy Pelosi speaking. New dates, new timelines, and new paths. You already saw a tip off of that early in this video. I'll go over all that and more. Then we cut to fist stimulus, which is just days away, and then a return of a familiar face. It's coming up in the final 15 minutes of this video. Stay to the very end. But first, here's a little bit from the community page. If you're having problems finding that rent, utilities, or food, reach out to the volunteers, they'll help you. And I'll be back with you in 60 seconds. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the toast is toasting, the butter is but buttering. I'm here, you're here, as a big early morning's broadcast heats up. A lot of breaking news you're hearing for the first time on this early morning's broadcast. Nancy Pelosi speaks out, also new timelines, a little bit earlier than initially thought, and the final vote, new revelations about when that could happen as well. But first, subscribe. 400,000 subscribers on YouTube record. I want you proud of this family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member so you get access to all the big money across the board. And meantime, stay on this video and I'll automatically take you to Mornings Crypto, Overnight's Crypto, currently airing live on the channel. Join me then on Mornings LA at 9 a.m. live on air. 
Well, the president of the United States had promised during his run for president that he was going to deliver fiscal stimulus. He didn't. Then he said during the transition papers he was going to take care of it then. Well, now the leadership of the Democrats are taking care of it for you in the next few days. This is the SSI reform, and that they say it's going in fiscal stimulus. First, they'll raise your benefits up a lifetime. Then they'll apply a new benchmark for December for next year. How does this work? Let's go over all the details. Step one, they'll raise your benefit limits up. Then they'll remove the asset limits. Then apply an inflationary benchmark. Remove the marriage penalty and remove the income exclusion. How does this work? Let's go over all the calculations starting right now. Who is this for? You, if you're on SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits, or more. First step they'll do is raise your benefits up lifetime. Then they'll apply a new benchmark. The new benchmark will be applied in December. What is it? Inflation. Where is it going? It's going to be transitory. What does that mean? It means it's going to reach a spike and then come back down. When? In December. Oh, my goodness. Perfect timing for us right when they apply our benchmark. So how high is that rate going to be? Yesterday, the new jobless claims number came in. It was the lowest since the pandemic, signaling that inflation is really red hot. With that economic data consistent with what I said before, it looks like it could be 5% for that spike. In December, let's do the analysis. First, they'll raise your benefits up a lifetime. And then they'll apply the benchmark, which will potentially raise you up another 5%, not just next year. But lifetime. Because once your benefits step up, they never step down. Then they're going to move the asset cap, dating back to a 1980s law that says you can't have more than $3,000 on hand. It's going to go away and you'll be able to have some stimulus checks in your hand. Then they're going to move the income cap, dating back to a 1960s law that says you can't work and stay on benefits. It's going to go away and you'll be able to work. And finally, the marriage penalty is going to end. And love is going to win and you'll be able to do a pair dance at your own wedding. Viewers like Rob and Sandy will be able to get married and no longer fear a loss of benefits. And if your benefits were canceled, they'll be restored after, with the marriage penalty going away. Meantime, if you're looking for a fist stimulus check, they represent there's one in that fist stimulus package as well. That's what the House Ways and Means subcommittee says. And finally, if you're in the live chat and you have not become a Purple Hawk, what are you doing? If you're in the live chat and you notice people that have that red hawk emoji, purple hawk emoji behind their name, then consider becoming a member. The link's under the video, which says join here. Members are delivered daily from me on the YouTube community page, a breakdown of all the big money available for you so that you and others can get five, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars money right now, not five weeks from now, not five months from now. Viewers that are Purple Hawks are getting enormous sums of money because they realize these are items that are available for them to apply for to get under the third stimulus package, second stimulus package and later propose under the fourth stimulus package. Consider becoming a member so you can get big sums of money like $32,000 that Nancy and niece, 20, niece are getting $23,000 and $50,000 from Mark. Meantime, it's important to know how the focus should be going forward. When I launched this channel, I initially didn't cover the subject matter, but I certainly saw people saying in May last year saying, uh, where is my second stimulus check? Well, it wasn't approved by May. And then June, it wasn't there either. People were focused on the day in which a check was arriving. I said, you can't be doing that because that creates financial dependence. You want to be financially independent. You want to be dependent upon the arrival of a check on a particular day. In fall 2020, when I did, when I already was in the subject matter, then I said, don't focus on the arrival date of a $600 second stimulus check because it was not coming during the holidays. And that's why Tyrone and his family for focus on getting the big sums of money, $15,000 for rent, paying all their rent to the spring and giving him credible financial independence on rent. But in January of last year, I launched Purple Hawks to ensure that people understand financial independence better than before. I said, do not be a donut guy and be dependent upon the day the check lands because under third stimulus, there's tens of thousands of dollars to get you. I said, instead of $1,400, I think you can get you $14,000 $14, under third stimulus. And that's what happened. Viewers started getting thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars under third stimulus because it's application based, and realizing you cannot be dependent on just when a check arrives. Here's what's going on: is that the federal government sees you as a person that has multiple bills, and let's say you have seven bills. Some of the bills they'll pay, but some of them they won't. Let's say you have rent, utilities, food, internet, mortgage assistance, but you also have a car in the driveway needs to get fixed, and you also have some shoes you need to buy for the grandson. Well, the federal government's not going to pay for the shoes, it's not going to pay for the car, but many of the times it will pay for the first five items. And so if, they can, if they'll pay for the first five items and they ask you to apply for the first five items to get paid, do it. 
because then for four to six months, you won't have to pay for those items, giving you incredible financial independence because you're not dependent upon waiting for something to pay for those. Those bills will be picked up by the federal government. And with that independence, then you have all that cash freed up that you're not using to spend to pay those five bills, which now you can use to spend to fix the car and pay those shoes. And with that, we go into the final 15 minutes of this video starting right now with incredible details that happened overnight. In these final 15 minutes, we start right now with the deal done. $3.5 trillion of checks are coming to the American people under the four stimulus recon. This is the biggest payoff we see in the history of this channel. Everything that's in the recon is checks for the American people. Checks, checks, and more checks. The recon part that passed this week was the recon procedural. So let's go over first recon the vote this week, then we'll go over what Nancy said, then we'll go over the timelines, then we'll go over substantive, and then we'll go over a familiar face. First, let's go over what passed this week, recon procedural, which basically passed two items. First, you agree upon a price tag of the recon, 3.5 trillion? Yes, I do. And do you agree that the committees are gonna split the money so f the, the following ratios? Yes, I do. So that is going next to the House. And here's what you need to understand for the first time on Early Mornings LA, is that when the House gets that, they'll pass it in a second. Why? Because they were part of the discussion, the House Democrats, for the 3.5 trillion. It was not a Senate-determined number. It was part of the whole progressives agreed upon the 3.5 trillion. So this vote on the recon procedural takes off 10 seconds. It's easy breezy. So then next step would be to go write the recon substantive and get that called for a vote. That's where those subcommittees determine how to spend the money, who spends the money on it, and how it gets spent. All right, here's what you need to know about the voting process. First, the President of the United States reassures the American people that he's not doing bipartisan without recon. He says, as to bipartisan, if that's the only thing that comes to me to vote, it's a sign into law in the Oval Office, I'm not signing it. Uh, I have to have the recon and the bipartisan tandem. Then he says, I, I'm not just signing the bipartisan, forgetting about the recon. It's a significant other part of legislation I propose. Uh, second, Nancy issued a statement about two weeks ago. And initially I said, oh, it's good. Then I said, I wonder if she's referring to just recon procedural. Now we learned overnight, she clarified her comments. She's referring to the entire recon. Thank goodness. This is what Nancy originally said. There won't be a bipartisan unless we have a recon bill, the whole thing. Plain and simple. In fact, I use the word anything. It could be a bipartisan unless we have the whole recon bill passed by the U.S. Senate. Great news. Jalapal also said, and this is a very important quote because of what I'm about to say, that the House Democrats are polled and the overwhelming majority said they're not going to vote in favor of the bipartisan unless they have the recon bill done as well. So what was the new comment by Pelosi overnight? She basically says that she has asked her Democratic House members, what do you want to do? And they say, you got to have the whole thing called for a vote, the recon. Don't just do bipartisan. So this is what she says. I'm not freelancing. This is the consensus of the caucus. The votes in the House and the Senate depend on having us, us having both bills. Great news. So let's go over then the dates. Steny Hoyer, right after the House, re, uh, the Senate approved the recon procedure, came out and gave us some dates, but some dates have been updated and some dates are now proposed. So let's go over all the dates you need to know starting right now. Number one, August 23rd, recon procedural, which just passed the Senate, will be called for vote in the House. That will pass in 10 seconds. That's an easy vote. Then, on September 15th, Chuck Schumer represents that the recon substantive will be called for a final, will be called for a vote in the first uh, body of Congress. We were initially thought that he was going to call the vote on the Senate first on September 15th, but now there's suggestions overnight that it may start on the House side. I like that the House side is being considered. The reason why there's an asterisk next to H is because that is not confirmed yet where it would start. I like the House side because remember the House Ways and Means Subcommittee is the one writing the, uh, the House Ways and Means Subcommittee is the one that said they would give you stimulus checks. I like the House subcommittees are the ones writing the recon substantive. The House members are the ones who, who propose a lot more stimulus checks under Jalapal's bill. And the House members are a lot more progressive than the senators. So I like it starting on the House side first because it's likely to get bigger payments on the House side. Third, a new statement overnight said that the White House is considering getting the entire recon to law. 100% of the recon to law by September 30th. Again, there's an asterisk next to it because this is proposed. 
All right, now let's go over to Recon Substantive. All right, Recon Substantive is the actual Recon Bill, currently being drafted at, by those subcommittees of the House. Here's what you need to know, is that these people have been representing a lot of promises to us, and you got to push. And two nights ago, I considered, I went on social media to see if people were interested in talking about a particular subject matter, and boy, were they ever. And that was a familiar friend back in the mix. Who's that familiar friend? Seats for stimulus. Viewers want me to bring back seats for stimulus, and so it's back. We need to push Purple Power because now they're writing the recon substantive bill that we need to push and ensure that they include the right items in there for us. Here is what's at issue. House members have six seats up for election this election year in November 2021. Next year, nearly more than 30% of Senate seats are up for election in November 2022. So why is this very helpful for us for seats for stimulus well ironically the reason why nancy said her quote about i'm not doing this just by myself i have the house support is because she does have the house support she has over 100 house members who want her to do it that way but there are three house members off the record who are up for election notice the graphic before where there were six so it's 50 percent of the house members up for election this fall that say you know what I think you should just call the vote on the bipartisan roads and bridges right now because I need that for when I go back to my jurisdiction to try to get reelected. I need to show I did something. Aha. This helps us a lot. Why? Because those that shows us that of 50% of the people up for re-election, that of the six people up for re-election, 50% of them are worried that they're not showing they have given the American people what they need. Hence, purple power, you need to push. Hashtag seats for stimulus. Hashtag purple power. Hashtag LA. You need to share these videos on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You need to tell these elected officials, you better give us the right items in this fourth stimulus recon uh, substantive. Otherwise, we're taking your seat. This is your opportunity. Write it the correct way now and get it done the correct way now. Finally, a personal message. You've been doing a great job. Two things I saw over, over the last 24 hours. One, as I said earlier today, I loved on the afternoon's LA 1 o'clock show yesterday, I saw people trying to help other people. One person said in the live chat, I can't find money where I was. And other people said, let me find it for you. Let me find it for you. I have free time and let me find it for you. I love that. That's the spirit of this channel. People helping people keep on doing it. Number two, I also ha saw a, a couple people seeing numbers and becoming really, really donut guys and donut gals. When I show you numbers like this, like the last one, November, September 30th, where they're proposing to call the final vote on the recon and get it done. That says vote. And the comment someone said in the live chat was, oh, so I'm getting a check in my hand on September 30th. Mm, can't be doing that can't be doing that because you need to be pushing. As we go into these final days, the entire energy of your focal point needs to be pushing these people to get these things written the correct way. Yeah, over the last year, sometimes Purple Power focused on people, pushing people to get things done faster. But there's no real way to get things done faster at this point because of the recess. So the best thing you can do is to get them to make sure they got the correct language in that bill. You need to push Purple Power to ensure they get the correct language in the bill. Do not be a donut guy and say, what date, what date, when is this vote, when is that? You need to focus on the what, not the when, to ensure that they do exactly what they promise and get it in there. And stay with me all weekend long because the changing dates, the changing narrative, the concern that this is taking a little bit longer, at least for perceptions, than Schumer thought he was going to be able to show the American people, it's going to cause a lot of these elected officials to be on broadcast media over the weekend. So there's going to be a lot of breaking news over the weekend and a lot more later today. So stay with me. You saw how much happened breaking news just yesterday alone in the middle of the week. And with that, subscribe. 400,000 subscribers on YouTube record. I want you part of this family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video, two, three thousand likes. Consider becoming a member. Coming up next is Overnight's Crypto. You don't have to lift a hand, sort of like Schumer the video will automatically take you to Overnight's Crypto live on air. Interact with the Purple Power community. Share these videos on Facebook and Instagram. Tell your people friends to come on over. 
Make sure you get this big sums of money for rent, utilities, food, and internet, and more. Join me mornings on live on air at 9 a.m. with Mornings Crypt Mornings LA, 945 with Mornings Crypto, 11 a.m. with noontime as well, and then new shows on the afternoon as well. Stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful morning. The toast is toasted, the butter is butter, and I'm here, you're here, and I look forward to seeing you next on Overnight's Crypto, playing on the channel.